Hi, my name is Megan, and I will be presenting my project for Hospitality 173. Um, I chose to do a catering company, which is a made-up catering company, but it is something that I've wanted to do for a long time. Um, and the event that I will be catering is a wedding. First, meet the couple. This is Lily and Cameron. Um, they are in their early 30s and they decided um, to get married in 2021, but with COVID, everything got pushed off another year to 2022. So this narration will be presented as if the event had already happened even though it's not set out for another few months on my nat chart or gantt chart excuse me um it's a breakdown of our meeting retrieving the deposit having the couple come do a tasting at our venue or at our home office and then ultimately deciding on a menu selection. We offer with our catering company, which is called Meg's Coastal Canadies and Catering Company. We specialize in cannabis infused products, including um, five course meals, buffet, desserts, cakes, the works. The options that we give are based on or our packages that we uh, provide are price pointed per package just depending on the menu selection and also whether or not the the couple or the event are requesting to have both cannabis infused and non which takes a lot more time because you have to cook them separately um, so after that, we visited the venue. We arranged, I arranged an event team to, for the wedding. I made, double checked with my staff several times, conferred menu with the client, confirmed the guest headcount so that we knew exactly how much food to order. Um, what we purchased and validated our licenses because when you serve cannabis, Depending on the state regulations, um, the state that you're hosting it in, this one would be in Oregon. They have limits and lots of regulations on how much can be served in each serving. So um, that was also discussed with the couple while choosing the menu. We also um, they give them an option of a main course entree which is either roast beef um, prime rib something like that they chose a kalua pig which is roasted over coals um, for several hours the gantt chart also includes um, the breakdown of transportation to the venue setup etc this is a copy of the invitation that they sent out to their guess again for the project we are only going to be catering the event not doing the entire wedding there's that they the couple hired a wedding planner to do the other accommodations so as mentioned before the catering company all offers packages the couple in this case decided on the ultimate package which um, runs at ten thousand dollars and there's a reason several reasons for the high price um, the cost to order the food the ingredients and also the cannabis costs a lot more than a normal catering um, company would offer 
the package, the package itself included a choice of a main entree, your choice of three appetizers with at least two, two of the appetizers being uh, infused with cannabis. Again, this was a menu that they selected that was to include cannabis and cannabis-free options. So that's why there is a limit on um, the amount of infusions. It also costs more the more infusions you add. And the uh, the uh, package also included a choice of a salad, choice of four side dishes up to with up to three infusions, choice of two breads up with up to one infusion, choice of desserts which are all infused. Um, a two-tiered wedding cake, as well as the use of our mobile catering truck, which is also used to roast the pig and carry the supplies. Um, this includes a bar for the entire night with four specialty cocktails that were created especially for a couple, and with options of domestic beer, obviously, that is cannabis-free. The package also includes four highly trained bud tenders that are there for the guests to monitor consumption as well as answer any questions anyone might have. There's The package includes two professional cannabis culinary chefs that prepare the main courses and the sides as well as um, the baked items, the your pastries and desserts. It includes two servers for the entire e evening, and also the cannabis that is used is top shelf, meaning that the THC contents and the terpenes are going to be registering a lot higher than, than some others. Um, the menu breakdown just kind of shows what exactly the couple decided to put on their menu and how much it was going to cost to supply that. We multiplied the cost by three and the reason for this, like I said, is it does cost a lot more to buy extra food to separate and cook separately. Um, it also takes a lot more time and patience. So the breakdown for the client is to the right the budget breakdown for our cost is in the middle and then also what they chose um, a breakdown of their menu as well this is just a copy of the menu that was placed um, on each person's plate it, it include their the appetizers that they chose were bacon wrapped cajun shrimp with cocktail sauce Biscotti bread with spinach dip, avocado shrimp sliders. Their main course, again, they chose the Kahlua pork. They chose a Caesar style salad with a side of pineapple coleslaw, grilled potato salad, grilled pineapple and asparagus, bacon wrapped grilled green beans, garlic Hawaiian sweet rolls, sourdough, and sourdough whole rolls. Whole rolls, excuse me. Um, for their desserts, they chose chocolate covered strawberries, chocolate mousse pudding, chocolate caramels, and a mango berry fruit tarts. Their cocktails that were created for them were infused spritzers, fresh start infused mojito, a CB tea cocktail, a green derby infused cocktail, and of course the domestic beer. The location was set at Postal Waits Country Weddings in Canby, Oregon. It was an indoor-outdoor wedding venue. Um, they offer several different selections, and they also include a lot in their pricing packages, including the setup takedown. They put together that they offer the tables, so there was a lot that the catering company did not have to do because of everything that the venue offered. The couple wanted an indoor-outdoor reception, and... As you can see in two of the slides, there are two giant doors that are able to lift and offer guests to go in and out as they please. This is just a look at the meal and 
how it was prepared throughout the night, their choices of, um, of obviously their wedding cake, or the pig, um, just a few, our mobile truck that was set up. And then this is just a few pictures of the couple's ceremony. The reception, everyone had an amazing time. The It looked gorgeous and beautiful. The catering company had to really only assist the wedding planner in part of decorating for the reception tables in that we set the plates and helped do centerpieces. We also set up a buffet-style bar ne next to and across from our mobile catering truck. This is just a couple of photos of our staff as they were preparing the dinners and our butt, some of our butt tenders. The comment cards for the catering company are shown. Um, the, for this particular event, we had an outstanding turnout. Our comments were all very positive and no real complaints. I think the only complaint any, everyone had was there wasn't enough food and everyone wanted more. Um, as a special thanks from our company, we gave each guest some infused specialty, specialty chocolates to take home. Um, those also kind of disappeared, so it turned out to be a very, very successful event. And after the event, the couple decided to pay the remainder invoice in person so that they were able to thank us and tell us what a wonderful day they had and how much we helped relieve a lot of their stress and make their day even more special than they had expected.